Okay, so you've probably heard of the Vim quick fix list, right? What if I told you you could have syntax highlighting and live multi-file editing all in the quick fix list with previews and everything? Let's show you. Okay, let's just have a look at what the current quick fix list looks like. So if I just go into my grep here and I just search for like Vim, Vim.o, for example, and I do control Q, I can send it to the quick fix list. And then I can see all the places where I use vim.o, right? And then I can do something like colon C do um, S for substitute vim.o to vim.opt instead, for example. And I can enter that, and that would change all the, all the places where I use vim.o to vim.opt. Pretty easy, right? However, if you're, using, if you're going across multiple files, it's not as convenient. So the, there's obviously a lot of people that do something like this where you can uh, preface it with GC. And now every occurrence, you'll have to click Y, Y, or N to basically go through if you want to skip them. Uh, yes, I want that one. No, I don't want that one. Yes, I want that one, et cetera, et cetera. But what if I told you you could do all this from within the quick fix list? Let's show you. And the plugin is quicker.mvim. This is made by the same guy who made Oil, which is another one of my favorite plugins. So let's check it out. So as you can see, it's going to change your quick fix list from going from looking like this to looking like this. So the first thing you'll notice is that it's all aligned nicer. So it's a bit like jaggedy over here. And also the syntax highlighting. Let's take a look at this. So let's restart the oven. We'll do the exact same thing as before. So we'll do search through the files, vim dot o dot colon q. A command Q, and there we are. We're in the quick fix list. And as you can see, it's putting our cursor in the actual file. And that's because we can edit it just like a buffer. Does this sound familiar? It's like oil, right? Similar, similar. So let's say I wanted to do the same as before. Well, now, because, it, because I'm just editing them as buffers, I can do a colon percentage s vim.o vim.opt. And look at that. We've applied that. Now that won't apply until we actually save the file, so I can still make changes in here. Let's say, let's say I don't want to do vim.opt for these for, for the mouse, for example. I can delete the mouse, and let's say I don't want to do it for the number either, or the relative number. And I write this now, and I close this quick fix list. And now let's go on, let's go to the options file and let's see what actually happened. Well, would you look at that? Vim.o didn't update, the number didn't update, and neither did the relative number, but everything else did. So because it's a buffer, you can edit, you can edit everything in there and the changes will only uh, happen once you save the file. So it's really good for cherry picking after you've already done your cherry picking with the grep, for example. Like, let's say I did a vim.o and I wanted to cherry pick, I could obviously do tab, tab, tab and, cut and send that to the quick fix list. But if I decide, oh, I accidentally put that in here, well, you can just delete it, delete it, delete it and then make your changes. It's really, really cool. Let's do something a bit more complicated. So let's search for return. So this will be the start of every plugin, right? Return, and we'll send that to the quick fix list, all of them. And now, as you can notice, we've got lots of different buffers here, but the return in these two is offset slightly. Now, if we just do, um, if we grow these previews by pressing the greater than sign, this is a key map that's in the repo. It's very easy to do. Uh, we can grow these and shrink them. So we can check out a bit more of the file, a bit more of a preview around like to get a bit more context so we obviously know that these two aren't returning fun aren't returning plugins so we can just let's delete them from our quick fix list and now we know that everything in our quick fix list is a plugin return and then let's say we want to make them we want to change the word return we can just do again percent s slash return change it to return new for example and all them changes will apply if i do colon w so yeah, I mean, this is great. You can run macros on here. You can run substitutions on here, anything commands. Um, and if, you, if you're if you doing like a big refactor and you need to just view lots of things and you only need to edit like one line at a time and across multiple different files, well, this, is, this might be a nice way to do that because you can just make the changes nice and simply. And yeah, I think this will really level up your quick fix list. So yeah, hopefully I've sold the usefulness of that plugin to you. If you liked it, drop a like on the video. I'll see you in the next one.